What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are taking a look at the all new Mercedes AMG C43 4Matic Plus. This is the new AMG, the new C-Class AMG with a four cylinder. It is basically you know, a little glimpse into the future of what the C63 is going to be like, uh, which is going to be a lot more powerful, 600 plus horsepower with electric motors on uh, the wheels or on the axles. But this car has a little electric boost as well. As you can see, the badge has changed. It now says turbo electrified. So it is no longer a three liter V6 by turbo, uh, which was quite a nice engine not the best not the most you know refined engine but at least there was a v6 and well it has disappeared so we've got a two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine with a lot of smart stuff going on but there are quite a few things about this car that don't really make sense but there are also a few things that i do really love so let's take a look at the exterior for one because the new c-class I'm not a big fan of the new C-Class in general, uh, looks wise, but I think it works really well in this C43 version. You've got the Panamericana grill with a little AMG badge. Uh, you've got those new headlights, a front bumper for the C43 as well, which is quite aggressive. And I think it's actually a very good looking car, especially as an estate. I think it is super handsome. You have this little, well, sort of a shark nose adjacent thing going on with the nose the bonnet and the front bumper that slope down a little bit i think it looks super cool it looks mean and it looks muscular it looks like an amg should look also amg is killing it uh, when it comes to wheels these days i think this is a really cool wheel design with this little blade in there which just makes it look a bit different you have like a bit of a, a classic rally look basically but not too much it's 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 not out of place uh, these are the upgraded 20 inch wheels by the way as standard it comes on 18 inch uh, optionally you can go to 19 or 20. looks wise this is definitely the way to go i love this wheel it looks great on this car and it is the most sporty option, of course, with Michelin Pilot Sport 4S rubber around it as well. 245 section tires at the front. However, uh, since there are a few things not really great about the suspension on this car, I think it might be better to go for 18 or 19 inch because you have a bit more tire. Uh, it seems like AMG didn't really know what to do with the suspension, so they went for super firm damping and quite a loose spring rate which means that you still have quite a bit of body roll but when you hit like a pothole it's like driving a black series so the suspension combined with this 20 inch wheel i'm not sure that that is the way to go on this car but i would have to drive an 18 or 19 inch wheel on this car to be sure about that 265 tires at the rear and a very nice rear and beautiful rear lights i quite like those i think it looks super modern and yeah you guys know i love a fast estate i just i just love them i love the practicality i love the look i think it's a better looking car than the sedan uh, let me know in the comments would you prefer a sedan or a, an estate a combi as mercedes used to call it which was very cool combi with a k of course as i said it is more practical as well so you have a decent amount of boot space and then you even get a little mercedes crate with it they charge a lot of money, but you do get a free crate with it. So I guess, you know, that balances each other out. Uh, bumper wise, you get a revised bumper as well, of course, for the AMG, which... <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, that might... Is that the whistling sound we heard at high speed? That could be the case. So you have this little diffuser part, but it's not really attached anymore. What is going on? That is not going in there. Okay, so this is not going anywhere. Uh, they have to take a look at that at Mercedes. Exhaust, this car has the night pack. So that means that you get all black window surrounds, black everything, also black exhaust tips, which are fake. But then you've got the 
but then you've got the real exhaust in there i hope you guys can see that and there actually is a valve in there um, which only opens by like a few millimeters so when you look in there and uh, you switch from comfort to sport plus you can see the valve opening but it's like it's like a little couple degrees basically which is new for you know all these modern cars that they they don't open their exhaust valve all the way it's the same with our m3 so this is the big change of course and this is the peak into the future of the c63 because this is the new two liter four cylinder engine with the new electrified exhaust gas turbocharger so what it does is it's got a tiny electric motor inside the turbo that powers the turbo when there's not enough exhaust gas going into it so it basically cancels turbo lag that is the idea it is of course much more efficient than the traditional anti-lag which is just basically injecting a lot of petrol into the turbo to get the turbine spinning to keep the turbine spinning uh, that is where you know all those pops and bangs and flames come from because they just inject a lot of fuel into the turbo but this unit has an electric motor in it that that powers it this entire thing uh i think and then i think this is part of it as well and then down here we've got a downpipe which is absolutely massive so i'm guessing there's a big catalytic converter in there but yeah this is the way forward for amg which is a shame because yeah it's it's not the most charismatic power plant i mean it's amazing that they got 408 horsepower from it 500 newton meters uh, it's not as much as the a45 of course which has 421 but you know it's a, a, a lot more efficient and uh, apparently this is the way to go for mercedes so it's unfortunate i have to say because i really liked the especially the first generation c43 i thought that car was amazing uh, with a couple tweaks especially uh, suspension wise but at least that v6 it sounded amazing with the amg performance exhaust um, it was quite a quick car as well and this just yeah it, it doesn't have the same charisma as a v6 of course which is a shame now they tried to do a lot to get it you know to be a bit more exciting which in some ways works in other ways is just ridiculous But if we start it up, which sounds like a diesel, um, that is that weird startup is because it also has a 48 volt mild hybrid system uh, that adds 14 horsepower. Basically, you can't add it to the 408, uh, but it because it's not boosting, but it fills gaps basically. Uh, so it's a two-way alternator, a bi-directional alternator that can go both ways. It's a belt-driven. Uh, bi-directional alternator that adds 14 horsepower and that way you can have like the super quick start stop system the startup is super quick uh, and it adds a bit of power and it also helps with efficiency of course now exhaust wise we have a button right there as you can see so i'll hit that button uh, you can hear the tone changing just a little bit it's a bit deeper and if you compare revving it's a bit deeper so the exhaust valve as i said it opens up a little bit but if you go to a good tuner i think you should be able to open that flap all the way and you should get a bit more sound from it now if you switch to sport plus it also burbles and I'm sad to say that most of that is fake. So the exhaust does burble a tiny bit, but it's more fake sound that is pushed through the speakers into the cabin, which is not great. Uh, you'll hear more of that when we start driving it, but I just wanted to let you hear the revving. It doesn't sound bad on the outside. It's just the fake sound is, it, I don't need it. 
anyway, interior wise, you know, you've got a fully loaded C-Class basically. So you've got the big screen, amazing air vents that have just the most satisfying, oh, the most satisfying click. This, oh, oh, that is, that is ASMR all the way. That is one of the best Oh, feelings in any interior of any car steering wheel amg with the two buttons uh to you know do your exhaust your gearbox start stop dynamics suspension and exhaust traction control you can do everything in here and then your driving modes are on this one uh, this is very nice works well but i do feel like the steering wheel is a bit busy there is a lot going on uh, you've got those four stalks with a lot of buttons on it. They're all touch, so still, you know, sometimes you hit them by mistake, by accident. Still happens. Uh, yeah, it, it's 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 not the way for me. It's uh, th this menu as well. It's it's not great. It's Valentine's Day, by the way, today. Uh, that explains all those hearts and those rose petals down there and the scratches on my hand. <laughs> no joking. Um, but this menu is, is it's not the best. It's just a little bit too complicated for my liking. Um, I don't know what happens if you have the car for like a year, if you get used to it, but I just feel like it's a bit overcomplicated and uh, that's not really great. Let's go for a little drive. We'll turn off the traction control. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> so sport and then the way off and then we'll use this one for I think for the suspension so we can switch the suspension on the autobahn now you get four-wheel steering as standard on the C43 you get adaptive dampers as standard it does come with a lot of gear and I mean they should offer it with a lot of gear because it is hella expensive. So sound through the tunnel. Yeah, not great. It's actually louder in here because of that fake sound. So oh, that is also annoying. It shifts, I'm in manual mode. It sh oh, I have to, no, I just hit the pedal in automatic mode. So I think if I go to manual here, I should be able to uh, hit the rev limiter. Let's try that. Yeah, okay, very good, very good. That was my bad. So it upshifts automatically if you have it like in manual mode, but it's still in drive. But if you go to manual mode, it will hit the rev limiter, which is good. Um, but the fake sound, the downshift, you have this like, <laughs> that is through the speakers. Which is just not great. I mean, it's, it's a four cylinder. Just make the four cylinder sound as good as it can sound and then just leave it right or that, that is my opinion at least I, I feel like that is just the way to go um, and there's another very weird thing well weird it's just a bit over the top so if we do launch control you get like a super fake rev limiter sound <laughs> and then you release the brake and it sounds different. The fake sound changes. Yeah. It raises the front or it lowers the rear. And then you do zero to 100 in 4.7 seconds in the touring, in the estate and uh, 4.6 in the sedan, which is quite quick. And we did 4.6, so it, it definitely performs there. But suspension wise, steering wise, uh, it's, it's quite a dead and feedbackless system uh, you know you steer into a corner and you're like oh no that was too much or too little or it just is, it, it doesn't feel very natural and as I said the suspension is very weird so I'm in Sport Plus now which means that it's the dampers are super firm 
but you still have a lot of body roll because because the spring rate is too soft so it's really weird it's like a super strange setup i i don't understand it and i was doing a night pov yesterday and i was driving through town And he had like a, a, a bad street and some speed bumps and stuff like that. And honestly, I was in Sport Plus, it felt like a Black Series. It, it really did. It's so firm. And I feel like everything about this car does not feel like a proper AMG, driving-wise. You know, the, the gearbox, the 9G Tronic. It's not the dual-clutch gearbox. It is the multi-clutch, so it has a wet clutch for first gear. That's why you get a proper launch control. But it's a bit clunky, it has to think a lot. It, it doesn't feel like an AMG gearbox. The engine, same thing. It never feels properly fast. And I feel like if they would have gone for like a soft AMG approach, so if they would have said like, okay, this is an AMG for people who want to have a fast daily, but don't want like a super uncomfortable or shouty car, then buy a C43. If they would have softened up those dampers a little bit in comfort mode, you know, if they would have gone for that approach. But before we hit the Autobahn, I just want to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Petrol Vibes. We've got the F12 on the wall here. As you can see, we have used it to dress our workshop. It looks absolutely stunning. I love a good silhouette of a car and you can buy this too at petrolvibes.com. It is made from two millimeter thick steel. They laser cut that. can even have one custom made of your own car if they don't have it in stock already. So go check out petrolvibes.com. They have a lot of cool cars. They've got motorcycles as well. And if you use the code AUTOTOPNL10, you get a 10% discount on your very own Petrol Vibes silhouette. Go check it out and enjoy the video. And just be clear about what the car is supposed to be. I think it would have been a better car. I really do. Because there is, there are some good things in it. It, it. It's not all bad. It's just a few things that really bug me. So on the Autobahn, full throttle, top speed 250 kilometers an hour or 265 if you have the driver's package, which this car has. Now, that's the whistling sound I was talking about. I'm not sure what that is. It could be that diffuser that is no longer fully attached to the car and that is to 70 five six that is the limiter <laughs> did you hear that that was basically fake sound rev limiter sound that boom, 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 boom. It's a bit too much, AMG. It's a bit too much. Now, another thing I'm not really too keen about, uh, the gearbox, the 9G Tronic. So if we just drive along, let the gearbox shift up, we'll do that in comfort mode. So the gearbox will go to ninth gear probably, or eighth ninth gear okay so this is ninth gear you're cruising along you want to overtake someone i'm going to floor it with a very clear motion so you guys can see how long it takes okay three two one that takes too long it it, it it's not responding the way you would want it to now if you go to sport plus it will keep a lower gear i think so Seven, maybe. Eight. 
Okay, so we'll stay in 8th gear in Sport Plus if I hit the throttle now. No. Takes about the same time. Um, yeah, that's not great. And that has been the case with a lot of AMGs or a lot of Mercedes cars. Uh, it, it's, it's still their Achilles heel. The gearboxes just are not as good as the competition. 100 to 200, of course, we also measured that and I did a 12.42 when I started short shifting. So when I shifted at like six to six and a half, uh, it was quite a bit quicker than uh, when you just let the gearbox do its thing. So it was like Martijn did 12.8 and I did 12.4. Uh, which also means that with my measurement of 12.4, it's one tenth quicker. That also means that it's one tenth quicker than the 2019 C43 with the V6, which, you know, is a good thing that it's, at least it's quicker than that car. So in conclusion, a few things to love, but also kind of sad about the direction that AMG is going in. I mean, it's a lot of fluff, a lot of smoke and mirrors and the parts that we as petrol heads really appreciate, they, they, they seem to gloss over that, you know. And this fucking whistling sound is also not great and we actually got a few messages from people that said that build quality on this generation C-Class is not great. So. I mean, this car has done like 1,700 kilometers. It's brand new and it's got a diffuser hanging off the back. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Now, competitor-wise, of course, the most daunting one, the most intimidating one for AEG is the BMW M340i, a car that Martijn actually owns. So we're also going to do a comparison review of this and the M340 next to each other. Martijn is going to take you through what it's like you know, to drive an M340 versus a C43. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or this playlist on the left. See you in the next one. Bye.